Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, and take junk that we find for free or close to it, and we transform it into home decor. Um, if you like these kinds of videos, if you would share this out, especially on Facebook, helps us out a ton. Give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, we'd love for you to follow and subscribe. Um, but we are going to be making over this box. Zeb's going to find the picture. It's up on the website, Zeb. Um, we showed it. If you've already seen our Saturday thrift haul, you've seen the before of this box. We showed it on Saturday. But if not, Zeb's going to find the picture. We just gave it a base coat of white because it always takes forever for paint to dry. And we want to get to decoupage because today is the launch of JRV Papers spring lineup. So we're going to be showing you a little bit over the next hour, all of the new decoupage paper coming up. Um, and we're going to be using some on this piece. They are on the website now at jamierayvintage.com, or you can buy them from your local retailer. Just check and make sure that they have them in stock or have them coming. Um, they have been shipping out for a couple days to our retailer. So we're super excited. Um, DIY White Swan, if you are decoupaging and you want your decoupage paper to be bright and not kind of moody looking, white is the perfect base color. And so that's why we've already done this on there. So I didn't know that when we first did decoupage. In fact, we owned a decoupage paper company before. I was like, oh, it should be white underneath because the brown just makes it look kind of <laughs> muddy. So this box came out of the church. It was up on the loft when we started cleaning everything out and all the extra stuff that they had left behind. And it's just a plain old, I think it was probably just a toy box. When we found it, it had a bunch of broken Christmas ornaments in there. So, you know, I think it would also be great as like a tree stand. It's big enough. You could probably put a small tree base oh, yeah. up here. Um, but we're not decoupaging it for Christmas, we just so not. you know. We got flowers <laughs> coming out. Um, we may eventually add feet. I couldn't find anybody, anybody, any feet before we went live today. So this will be a project we'll probably finish when we get back from England, but we'll get the decoupaging and the finishing on the main part of the box done today. So you guys can see that. Um, initially, I thought about a handle across here, but since we're papering this, I'll probably just put a handle all in the front. We just got restocked on all of our hardware on the website. So I have lots to pick from. Um, all cast iron just looks really great. It's what we use. Is that on too our bright? Cabinets. That looks really bright to me. Um, yeah, you can a little hardly bit. see the box. Caitlin, can you link in. the hardware? And I think we need to put the hardware um, somewhere else on the website right now. It's under home decor, but we might wind up putting it with like the DIY supplies. It's really bright today. It snowed, and then the sun's trying. Now it's to all peak. blurry. There we go. Oh, the, the sun's trying again. to peek out of the clouds. It's not sure where it's, it's not focusing. sure. All right, well, I'm going to show you one of the new papers, the one that we're Let's using see on the paper. this. <laughs> this is called the hand painted oh, no, floral. Again. Hey, it'll oh, figure its slides out. The hardware, it's in its own category. I, I can't show the paper with it, Blurry. Hang on. Hold on. Time out. Live streams are fun. All, All right. right. There we go. And there's the dog. He can smell the bacon paper towel. So Rest. fun. I'll show you the paper, and then I have a fun story about this dog right before we went live. All right. This is the hand-painted floral, and it comes with essentially two designs. You have this one on the right, my right, your left, maybe. Yeah. Um, and then there's four over here, or you could use this all together. So you could you could do them separately. So essentially five designs on one paper. And love this dark one. It, this one is what took the release so long to come out because they had trouble printing the light in the dark. So next time- What is this one called? Hand painted floral. Hand painted floral, okay. It's, I tried to keep it easy this time around. <laughs> um, yeah, we figured out when with our printer, it's not half the price to print out half the image because we thought about doing smaller papers. And I'm such a like most bang for my buck kind of girl. I'm like, oh, it's not half the price for smaller paper. So we're gonna possibly start coming out with more of these two for ones because it's cheaper to do a whole sheet like that than it is to try to go smaller. If that makes sense. It's like only a third cheaper to be half the size. And I'm not about that. All right. <laughs> so we're going to put that paper on here today. Are we doing halvesies? Yeah. So I just want, oh, don't put it over here. It's wet. Okay. I've got to dry this. Okay. It still needs a little bit more uh, drying before we can decoupage it. It doesn't look like much now. It's just a white plain box. And my camera is hating me today. Hold on, I'm gonna turn it to auto and see. So every works. 10 minutes we'll show a new paper because we have six total new papers. I feel like some settings have been touched. Jamie's building herself. What? What? Are you talking about me over there? 
Um, desperate no. times call for desperate measures. We are in crunch time to get all of our videos finished. Um, new IOD release coming out tomorrow. So we have the papers today, new IOD coming out tomorrow. And so we're finishing up our um, video on that. And that will premiere after the sisters do their launch. All right. Well, hopefully you guys can see that. All right. So I turned it to auto. So hopefully it focuses better. You want to work from the front? Oh, I oh didn't. you know what? Remember how we can go up and over? Yeah, that's why I got the new tripod. Oh, you guys, this is good. We did this. If you're a channel member, you saw us do this yesterday when we did the wax paper. I do um, have to move it a little. So if you okay. if you get if you are a sick. Facebook subscriber or a channel member, check out yesterday's video and the post for your free printables. Maybe I'll show you guys some of the wax paper we created. That was really fun. All right. Let me I'm gonna have to adjust this. Yeah, we're getting there. Is it like super blurry? No, it's not blurry right now. Okay. This camera's heavier than the phone. How's that look on the screen though? It looks amazing. All right. Okay, it looks really it close. Drop. It is pretty close, but it's all right. Okay. Is this not awesome? I'm so excited. Okay. Next we got to use the liquid patina. So we're going to be using the DIY liquid patina. This is the best in the business, hands down. You can use top coat or whatever to do this, but Liquid patina has a longer open time and it's thicker, so it doesn't rip as easily. Easily. So do you want me to come down over the front? Yeah, I'd like it to be sitting. See the base is sitting, so I'm just make sure it's okay. centered. Well, let me get. I got to get some. Uh, okay. Give me that brush over there. All right, so you can see this is streaky. We didn't really worry about full coverage. This is just an undercoat for the paper to help brighten it up a little bit. We're going to be adding a separate color over and the this top. This is the and kind crystal of clear the the paper too. In the DIY um liquid patina it comes in a couple other colors there's uh there's the dark and decrepit liquid patina there's the old and gray liquid patina and then there's also the uh the metallics to the copper and the gold the pennies from heaven and i'm gonna go grab a cup zeb forgot to grab ticket. the petticoat pink so we're oh, using yeah. first crush all right so i'm just going back and forth here getting a pretty good coat of this on and it does dry clear, which is why it's called the crystal clear chandelier. You can see it got kind of shiny there in the in the camera. And then I'm going to bring that paper up in just a sec now that I've got my base coat. There is an iron-on transfer method that you can use where you put this liquid patina on, let it dry. Then you put your decoupage paper over that, and then you use an iron to heat that back up and it adheres it. All right, so this is going to be pretty sticky. So hopefully I can do this in one shot. Oop. You need a measuring stick? No. Okay. I'm going to eyeball it like I do. <laughs> I hope your eyeball is good today. Oh, man. Although it's really wanting to. Do we have any salt wash left or only the five-gallon bucket? Only the five-gallon bucket. I don't dare pour that myself. All right, when you're done with that, would you mix me up some? I'm gonna mix up some milk paint. All right, this has been more of a struggle than I wanted it to be. I needed- Are you on the struggle bus? I needed someone to hold the other end of it. Oh, you want me to hold it? No, I think I now got it. Now that you've got it. <laughs> Can I help you now that you've got it? Okay. So if you have a friend, you know, have them come help you because it does stick pretty well. I've touched it a bunch now. Luckily, we have a backup paper. We took two of each. I do have a backup paper. Oh, that's not straight. Okay, Jamie, I'm going to need you to hold one end of it so that I can All get right. this straight. <laughs> well, over here trying to mix up milk paint. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to have to. I'm starting to get transfer already. I got to re. I got to redo this. All right. I've already pulled up some paint. It's like we own. It's like we don't own a decoupage. Well, it was just. It's really big and it sticks really well. It's all right. Luckily, we're going for a distressed H finish. So you're just adding to the overall texture of the situation. Right. Well, the problem is, is it's when you cut it, it's curling because it was rolled. Okay. So there we go. Tell all me right. when it's centered. Okay. Go ahead and put yours down. It needs to come over this way a little. Oh. Okay. All right. Now we got it. That's good enough. We can feather it in with some paint or something. I probably didn't even cut it straight. Oh, good. I already got pink on my hand. It's getting on there. All right, you push that down. <laughs> I'm mixing up milk paint over here. It's not a live stream if we don't have a little bit of fun. Actually, you know what? Will you go grab me the salt wash? I will do that. Okay. I just need some salt wash in my cup so I can make some texture. 
All right. So I think going, this is going to take this box next level, though. Yeah, we're going for like an old tapestry kind of look. So we are going to be, where's the patina? We're going to be embracing. Just be careful you don't go over the sides and get white. All the imperfections, all the wrinkles, and we're going to add some texture to the rest of the piece. There we go. Just push it down. You said careful about the sides, right? I'll get back to comments in a minute. It's all right if it gets a little bit of white over the top because we're going to be distressing and waxing and aging. I got a bubble here. Bubble. There we go. What I did with the bubbles, I just made a little hole with my finger because we're going to be distressing it anyways. show you some more papers while we wait for that to dry we've got like six papers. oh yeah it's time it's time for paper number two oh did you tell him we were going to time 10 it minutes then we can get through all six papers. okay i'm going to pull this back so that they're not okay not they're right like there. all up close in my business here yeah they are so the camera's no, going to get we're not hiding anything today well there's the ceiling just don't show behind us because that's top secret iod in that corner Okay. Royce advises doing one part at a time. She probably knows. She probably knows more than us. You guys are like experts at it. We make the pretty paper. You do a good job. All right. I'm just going to make sure it's nice and down. Okay. Right. Okay. We'll go Did from this angle for oh, a that's while. That's a lot of salt wash. All right. Let me go get the oh. bucket. I don't need that much. Yeah. I just, I just got, you know, what I thought you might use. <laughs> Do you want me to do the front of this lip? I did not. Yeah. Would you cut that paper off while I make the salt wash? Oh, you want it cut off? Yeah. Okay. So we've got first crush made right here. This is Sweet Pickens Milk Paint, one part water to one part paint. And that is going to bring out the pink tones in our piece. You could also use uh, Petticoat Pink, which was my initial intention, but Seb was so excited about papers this morning, he forgot it. I was so, just I was just thinking liquid patina. I'm like, I just got to get to liquid patina. A little so bit of salt this. wash mixed with weathered wood. My definite go-to when it comes to a base coat with salt wash. So I'm going to finish mixing this up. And yes, I'm using a knife. I just wash it off afterwards. It comes right off. All right. So here's the next paper. This one's a real hard name too. This was requested by Debbie Beard. <laughs> We're calling it the scientific butterfly. There's regular butterfly and then there's getting scientific. Well, they're just laid out here like an encyclopedia kind of. So you can cut them out or you could do a whole sheet of them. Some are moths and it shows kind of the, uh, the uh, I don't know what you would call it, the evolution of uh, from, from caterpillar to moth. Yeah, there you go. It's been a long time since I was in biology. Clearly. <laughs> over 20 years now. <laughs> All right. I'm just mixing up the salt wash over here. I'm going to bring this one close wash. so you guys can see because some of these butterflies are small. The salt wash and all the paint we carry um, on jamierayvintage.com along with the paper. On the side, it says one to one. But if you're using DIY paint, you'll probably want to do slightly less than that because DIY paint is so thick. So tons and tons of butterflies and fun moths and all kinds of things. I'm just adding some texture on here. And then we're gonna come up over the edge of the decoupage paper even, because we're gonna come over at the edge with pink. And they all, all of our papers, I didn't intend for this, but they, with the exception of these darker um, flowers that we're doing now, they all have kind of like, oop, kick the camera. They all have kind of like a pastel vibe going, which works Sorry. with our new, uh, Gustavian style finishes that Jamie's loving. Well, they all, I wanted it to look a lot like wallpaper. Sorry, I'm pushing this down and then I'm going to texture it up. Um, this is just the salt wash. It's got a little bit of the white in it because it wasn't quite dry, which is fine. This is just a base coat here. We are working on our paint line that we're coming out with DIY paint collaboration. We've picked out colors and the warehouse is going to be sending us samples. So we should have samples by the time we get back from England, we'll have samples to work with and just make sure the colors are right. 
before the release. So that's pretty exciting. So lots of new things coming up this spring. Lots of fun stuff to look forward to. That blended just, in pretty well until you smeared it. Well, I'm just smearing it to make sure <laughs> that the edge is that down. That that edge is down. Yeah. Oh, you're lifting. Yeah. It's all right. It'll, that salt wash is thick. Well, the other thing that will happen is when the patina dries, it sucks the paper down. All right. All right. So this, I know it looks streaky, but it'll dry clear. Nope. Are we doing anything on the front of the box? Yeah, I will hand this over to you and you can just keep going with that and I will check for comments. Will that okay. work? Okay, let me bring this around. I'm just around. trying to do like around the edges, kind of like maybe over like that, just not the whole piece. So right, if you're just joining and you missed it, this paper here has two parts. So you could essentially get five projects out of it or or do it all together either way, however you want to do it. We are totally excited about England. We're trying to stay focused. We have so many fun things that we're doing today and filming. So we're focusing, I told Deb, I'm like, today it's all about the new papers, getting ready for the IOD launch tomorrow and pre-recording our thrift haul. It's going to be a good one. Um, and then once we get that done, then we can get excited about England and Zeb needs a new backpack and I need new shoes. and. <laughs> We'll probably pack in the morning. It's not that you need new shoes. You just need like England proof shoes that are, well, we that need can to water handle some rain. We need to waterproof my new uh, boots. And I wanted to bring tennis shoes. Um, Zep's cute little pups, I guess they're mine too now, um, have chewed on lots of my shoes. <laughs> well, who leaves them out? You know what I think though? Maybe I'll just wash them really good and take them with me and then I can just leave them there. Because <laughs> I only, I want to bring home junk. We're going to take our, like our underwear that needs to be retired. That way we can just get rid of it while we're there because I'm bringing home English junk. I'm not bringing home old undies and old shoes. You got to pack light, make the most of it. All right. This is like the thickest salt wash ever. The product on top of the paper is, um, and I just got tell done telling him not to make it too thick, is liquid patina, DIY's crystal clear chandelier that we carry on our website. Um, and... Kai and Distressed Darlin wants to know, am I packed? When are we leaving? We leave tomorrow. We'll pack tomorrow morning. Yeah, we'll pack tomorrow morning. We'll make sure we have <laughs> everything we need today. We don't have to leave till 10 tomorrow. So we'll just pack in the morning. It'll be I mean, we might pack tonight, but I have so much to do. I don't know. Did you do up and down? Like I was going to, but I'm letting you do the front. And okay. then I will let you. I'll heat gun. Here, can you drop just a little bit of water in that for me? I actually happen to be drinking water. Because it's super thick. There you go. Here, okay. I'll bring you down so you guys can see some of this texture a little more. So less backsplash, more project. Okay. I'm going to move the milk paint so this big gallon doesn't. You can buy milk paint by the gallon, guys. I don't know if you know that, but you can. If you use milk paint a lot, it'll save you a ton of money to buy by the gallon. Well, and it's powder, so it keeps and keeps and keeps. So you mix it up, and then it doesn't keep. I don't, you don't want to overly uh, heat gun patina because it does have a built-in sealer, so it gets kind of plasticky, so just be careful. I'm just kind of drying it a little bit, and then I will come back. I'm going to go less pouncing and more uh, brushing. Okay, and then you're going to and then I'll And then I'll come back and do some pouncing. And you're going to pounce. Oh, I wasn't going to do all over. That's what I asked, and you said, yeah. Oh. Um. <laughs> Well, we're all over I said now. around the edge, but that's all right. You know, it'll be okay. We can, I'll, I'll put it on Just thin. only pounce around the edge. How about that? Okay. I'll put it, it on thin and then I you mean, can dry it off quick. I don't really know where I'm going with this. So let's be honest. Well, it got dark and moody real quick. Well, it's going to get light and pinky. And then I'm probably going to get the dark wax out and grunge up the pink a little bit. I've been loving the grungy aged lighter colors. Will the gallon of milk paint keep over a year? If it's not mixed up, I've had milk paint for years. So once it's mixed up, it's gonna keep a few hours to overnight, depending on what the mixture is. But the dry milk paint, it's just powder. So as long as you keep it dry, it's fine. Yep, keep it sealed up good so it's the like, moisture can't get in there. It's like laundry soap, like dry laundry soap. It doesn't go bad, right? It's like dry ingredients mixed together. Same concept. 
Oh, Tina has to have knee surgery, but has to lose 50 pounds. Oh, I'm so sorry. When I get back, I'm going to work really hard to share my um, sugar-free recipes. Deb and I are like eight weeks without sugar. We did have one ice cream cone, which afterwards- It was, was an like, experiment. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that we wouldn't get sick while we were in England if we had sugar, but- Because we're not going to worry about what's on the menu. We're just going to eat that. No, but it, we've been about eight weeks. Deb's down about 10 pounds. His 2X shirt is getting all baggy <laughs> on him, and I'm down about eight pounds. So it's been pretty painless thus far. But we found a lot of ways to make things without sugar. In fact, this morning we had French toast and I have sugar-free buttermilk syrup that I make. And my dad thought I was trying to kill him. He's a diabetic. He's like, I can't eat this. It's full of sugar. He was all mad and getting ready to throw his whole plate away. And Jamie's like, don't do it. It's sugar-free. Yeah. There was no sugar in there. Yeah, for sure. But I was like, no, you can eat that, dad. <laughs> all right. So I think I may need just a little more salt yeah, you wash you don't need mix. a lot of like... Because here's the thing. They have clothes in England, right? We're going to be secondhand. Maybe we all find things while we're at boot sales. I do have a good raincoat because we just started carrying a brand called Jules, J-O-U-L-E-S. It's actually a UK company. I'm going to be taking one of our raincoats with us and good shoes because sometimes that's hard to find and base layer type stuff. But if I need extra stuff, I'm sure that they've got it there. Yeah. I mean, if it's real rainy, I might get several pairs of socks. <laughs> sugar and carbs are two different things yes i know that cynthia i'm not i'm not a no carb i'm a low low carb but we're not, not doing no. keto we're not doing keto because let's be honest we're doing no yeah. added sugar i have never made it past 15 days on anything i'm trying to just be healthy and as good of an eater as i can be it's not a diet for sure because that's just crazy all right you want to show them I'm another eating. paper uh-huh we're you ready for another paper okay i think so What's this show one them, called? Show them the, the Easter one. Okay. So the Because this one, you guys, I mean, you gotta we've, order this we've got like we four weeks until Easter. But so. it's so cute. You could use it year round because yeah. um, there's like just animals on it. So you could use it for different things. But here's the Easter one. Um, this is just like the Valentine's Day paper. Oops. So we'll come up that way. You, you got to fill it up. And then I'll come you are to the not back. Focusing. I'm, just, I'm just showing them up close. Look, it right. focused on that little girl's face. Her and the sheep. All right, let me come back. If you want, if you go to jamierayvintage.com, you can see them on there. So we did a fun uh, Christmas one like this, and then it was so popular. We did a uh, Valentine's Day one like this, and now we're trying Easter out because it's it's just good. And this one here, I put this big deer in the middle. Oh dear. Yes. Oh dear. And it says uh, hearty Easter greetings. But if you didn't want that and you wanted to use it all year round, you could easily cut the top off because the picture is big enough um, and, and use it for all year round. Yeah. Let me scooch in here. All right. And the paper, if you spend over $10, is free shipping. So don't feel like you got to wait for the IOD release tomorrow for those transfers. You can go ahead and order the paper. And then tomorrow, if you order the release, chances are we're going to combine it, the orders anyways, and it's free shipping. So Dreaming Cat Studio says, I'd love to try a full English, English breakfast. I've heard they're good. We are going to also be shopping at the Costco because we're going to be traveling a lot. And so I'm going to make sure that we have like a full breakfast before we leave the cottage, just in case we don't have time to stop somewhere. And then snacks, because even though we are going to be allowing ourselves to have some sugar, we're not going to go crazy. And so I just got to kind of plan ahead because when you get hungry, it's when you make poor food choices. Awesome. It's also when you buy things that are too expensive because you're in a hurry. Yeah. You can't have low blood sugar when you got, we, so we when got you a, got a wheel and deal for the good <laughs> stuff, we got a thousand pounds out to spend. That's our budget for junking, which sounds like a lot, but it's 1400 us dollars. Yeah. The conversion rates that pounds are worth quite a bit more. So every pound cost me a dollar 40. So I'm going to be at the boot sales on the side of the road. Um, and it's very expensive to ship things back. So I'm just going to have to be a super good shopper so I can keep things priced right. Okay. I think we're ready for a heat gun and whatever else is happening on here. All right. I mean, obviously, we're going to be able to get more, more cash out, but that's our goal is the 1,000 pounds is what we're planning on spending. That's our budget. We didn't have a budget when we went to France, and I, I think we still did okay. 
Yeah. But I actually think we could have spent more money and we didn't. So this way we'll make sure we're doing our best. All right. I'm going to show the whole paper in the shot close up. Deb loves baked beans, so he's good. So that's this. the Easter one. And we, we have a lot of these, but I don't think I'll have time to do a reorder on them before Easter. So well, I, don't, gone, I, don't, I don't know if they're going to sell out, but I'm just saying if, if you really want it, I would get it now because if they do sell out, I probably won't order again until next spring on this one, the Easter one. The trunk is looking very original. Black goes with every decor. It's actually going to be pink. <laughs> This is yeah. just the base color. So this is the... Uh, this is the next layer. This is first crush, right? Yes. Is the and front milk dry paint. so you can put that on there? The front is not dry okay, yeah, You want to dry the front? Yeah, I can. And then we will actually add another coat of liquid patina on here. As far as time goes, we're doing okay. We've only been live yeah. 20 minutes, so... We're doing good. Maybe actually 27. So the paper does come lighter than what you're going to see because it's a digital image on our website. But then once you put white behind it, you can see that it gets a lot brighter. So that's kind of the trick. Here, we can tilt this up so you can see because this is starting to dry now and go back clear. So you can see how bright it gets with the white underneath. It just makes all of those white colors that it naturally has in the paper. It brightens them up because it's a really thin paper. So... To get them super vibrant, they have to saturate it too much with ink, and they just it just doesn't work out. So it's always going to come to you lighter than it shows on the computer screen or on your phone when you're ordering. And then if you want that bright, crisper look, you got to go with a light color underneath or even a bright white underneath the paper. So the IOD papers will fit with the largest frame. You will have to cut them down if you want to use the smaller frames, but they are small enough that you could get portions of the image because people were asking about that. What? So oh. this is the IOD frames mold. I actually think we're sold out, but if you happen to have one of these, this big frame, they'll fit great in. Are you these talking other about ones. the Easter paper? Yeah, the, the Easter paper. You'll want to cut it down, but they'll fit great and make some really pretty Easter ornaments for a little Easter tree. Okay. I'm going to start going with the uh, the first crush here. All right. Okay, I'm gonna keep heat gunning while keep you do that. Gunning? Okay. Obviously, if you were doing this at home, you would just let it air dry. We've been doing lots of air drying. Um, the video that's coming out Monday was done in between demo at the church. So I did a bunch of painting, I did demo, I did more painting, I did demo. <laughs> and that's pretty much how our life is going to be the next few months as we renovate the church. And we're going to leave some space, hopefully, in the church that we can work on projects and then leave, go do some, you know, church projects and come back. This is going to need a couple coats. So I'm going to go on here thin so hopefully it can dry without having to heat gun it. Because if you heat gun milk paint, inevitably that, that really forces the chipping on the milk paint. For sure. I didn't add any extra bond, but I think we have so much DIY paint and texture, and texture from the salt wash that it probably won't chip much anyways. Okay, so that's the first coat there, and I'm going to leave it like that. That's looking pretty bright. Let me see if I can tone this back so you can get more And I'm okay color. if we don't have full coverage Oops. because I wanted to stress for all the layers below to get a nice Gustavian finish. Okay, we'll just zoom in. It usually gets darker when I zoom in. This is pretty well dry, but I'm just pushing it down so that way we don't have any air bubbles. So our hopes when we design these papers is to give you lots of... Uh, Art lots of looks. art for like your some larger pieces of furniture but also decor so I'm there you can see the pink it uh, did pretty good when i zoomed in on the color all right how often did you tell them we're going to show them a new paper every 10 minutes we have six new ones so we've shown three, right? Yep. Okay, so we're good till the 40 after, but you just knocked some on the floor. Whoops. We have a couple of, re like the next one we're going to show. Actually, maybe I'll save it for they're last. They're pretty light. So they, they're definitely going to want to go over. Are you going back with more? Yeah, because we didn't use a ton. And I just want it to be stuck down really good before we distress it. 
Okay. This front lip also is not, um, I'm going to keep start painting that side. Well, I'm going to heat gun this side. It's, it I did more. get some, uh, paint blending with the weathered wood yeah, and salt well, wash mixture. Salt wash takes a little bit to dry. It's okay because I want a really grungy pink, but there's like a light pink in the floral. So I'm trying to play on that. I want a very springy, like an old, maybe like artist type box, kind of Victorian cottage core situation. That's what I'm going for. You never know when you start exactly what you're going to get. We're working on these projects for IOD and they started out very clean and bright. And then, you know, I decided to go a little grungy with them and I like, I like how they turned out. So I like that you're embracing it because I like that look. Like it's, it's scary though. Like it's scary I like the dirty out of the corner of the barn look. I know, me too, but I've been <laughs> scared and I've decided that. Jamie's like, oh, is that too dirty? I gotta, I gotta wipe that all off. I gotta repaint this. 2022 is the year of the grunge, man. I think that should be enough. We'll let that air dry. So I put the salt wash on here pretty thin and then dabbed the corners. I, I was pretty much just brushing it on. We got some good thick brush strokes, but it is drying a little faster because I brushed it instead of dabbing the whole thing. Hey, Cabin Crafts by Elle. She is from England. She says, hi from the country. You're coming to visit soon. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. The we actually don't get there. We'll be ready to ship. We have it at the shop. I know we're going to be, so if you don't get in the first wave, you might get in the second wave and there might be a slight delay, but we do have product on hand. It will not be a pre-order. As what? well as the decoupage paper, not a pre-order. We have the product on hand. Yeah, but so we, we fly out tomorrow, but we, because of the seven hour time difference, we don't get there till Friday morning. <laughs> We're going overnight. I wanted to spend two whole weekends in England, so that this is like the longest vacation we've ever taken in our adult life. Even so even with kids or without, like yeah, we've never we just been. Don't ever go more than seven days anywhere. Maybe eight days max, but we're going to be gone eleven days, the tenth to the twenty-first. Yeah, I mean, some of it's going to be travel, but. Uh, Sabine says, "Have a nice trip. We have sunny weather. It looked like it was going to be a little rainy, but not as cold as it's going to be here." So, so I've been that. reading up just because it says sixty percent chance of rain. Like the precipitation amounts are minuscule. It's like basically going to be drizzly for a little bit, and then it oh. clears out. <laughs> okay. Like it will rain at some point in the day, but a lot of the day is sunshine on some of those days. Dreaming says, "Yay for grunge!" And Rosie says, "I'm so jealous. We're excited. We." We uh, lamented back and forth about our 20th wedding anniversary for a long time. And like, maybe we, we should just go to Hawaii or try a different island right. out. Um, and actually, I'm kind of glad because the way things worked out this last fall, things were very busy. We closed on the church. My dad wound up having a heart attack. Um, and knock on wood, like right now. Everyone's like, healthy. Everyone's healthy. Um our managers are really running the shop well. So um, especially like we got a new retail manager. Her name is Lauren and she's handling a lot of things at the shop. So it's- She's been with us. She just got a promotion. We just, she just got promoted <laughs> in January. So we just found a really good place to be gone for a while. Like cross my fingers that everything is smooth. But yeah, things are good. They've got it. There's, there's, n there's no such thing as painting emergencies. No, but pro tip guys, don't buy one paper, buy two because- Two papers get you free shipping. One paper is going to charge you shipping and it's going to cost the same as two. So is it blurry? Um, if you're if you're behind, it might be. We had a little bit of issues with the camera focusing let early me look on. on my end. It doesn't appear to be blurry. Nope, it's clear. So if it's blurry, hop out and hop back in. Dreaming says you guys aren't busy. You're crazy busy. I have adult ADD and that's not just like me saying it. It's like literally I do. And uh, being busy helps keep me sane. I know that sounds huh. crazy, but Fun busy but balanced. Fun story about that. Bishop called me the other day and he's like, hey, you want to be on the youth council for uh, for the camp out, the, the summer camp this uh, coming up, right? He's like, if you need something done, you call someone that's really busy already, right? I'm like, sure, sure. Because <laughs> he was chuckling as he said it, but I agreed to be on the council and we'll, we'll plan some fun stuff. Did you know that? Did you tell him we may not be there because we're going to track like the month before? Uh, I didn't. I didn't. Go You'll break into it that. to him later. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him know later. We'll see. 
he might not even still be yeah, he's the good. bishop because our bishops usually they they run for like no sorry wendy free shipping is not it doesn't apply to canada it's just in the u.s only thanks for clarifying that i would love to offer it however then we'd make zero dollars so so the way that uh the uh the clergy or, or the bishopric works in our church they uh they get called and it's it's a non-paid hundred percent service um uh, position in the church. And so they usually only leave him in there for about five, six years. And his time's up. He's been oh, in there a while. It's blurry now. <laughs> Can you fix it? It's blurry and the sides went in. Oh, yeah. It doesn't focus when it's like that. Sorry, I'll go get it. Sorry, guys. Hold, please. How about now? Oh, Shanann uh, says she's looking forward to the hall tree. I'm super excited to get that over to you. I actually just got my shipping quote back from my shipper. And so I will get that scheduled. And Caitlin um, will probably shoot you out an email and let you know when that's coming. Furniture is always interesting because my shipper is driving all over the country. So it's dependent upon weather and whatnot. But I'm so glad you got that hall tree. We've actually had it for a couple of years in the shop and well, it's so dang cute so it, it's it's deceiving because it, it we usually stack it up with so much stuff yeah. people just think it's a display <laughs> that is true Which, what is this going to look like when we're done we're hoping like a grungy pink floral masterpiece is what i want it to look like when it's done i'm going to dry that one side you're going to dry this side you can go ahead and do a second coat of paint is it ready it. for second coat I mean, on, it's still on a the damp, front but it'll be all right Yeah, we're actually doing Pioneer Trek. Both Zeb and I are going to film that with the youth this summer as well. So we got a lot yeah, of we're uh, we got we got asked to be the Trek historians, so we're going to film it. Although, ironically, the course we're on does not allow you to bring a drone, and I'm super sad about that because I have one and I can't use it there. Trek is where you push hand carts like pioneers. Because they like, don't, they don't want it to. Uh, they don't allow me to have the drones because they're worried it would deter too much from the experience. You literally dress up like old school clothes, and you're out there in pants and bonnets and. <laughs> oh yeah, free shipping excludes DIY paint or home decor items. So it's basically any of the DIY type products, except for DIY paint, because they don't let us do free shipping. We didn't have Trek when Jamie and I were. Uh, Good morning, Rashonda. New. We're showing the new <laughs> DIY, the new DIY, the new JRV papers. This might need like a third coat. Rashonda says grungy pink floral masterpieces are her jam. I'm glad. Well, pink and brown. I don't know if you guys know this, but pink and brown are so complementary together. Um, I don't think we're going to need a third coat because I'm going to be bringing back that base color. So I think we're probably good on this. Okay. Hopefully Let's, you can really see that pink starting to come then, through and it doesn't just look white now that I've got two coats on if there. If you want to bring the pink over the edge, you can. Let me kind of dry that Do you want me little. to just feather it over a little bit yeah. or do you want it over a lot? Um, I don't know. Feather for now and then we'll make a decision when we see. I've, not, I've never used this paper before. We've not. So I don't know. Well, we're going with heavy distress on the edges, right? Yeah, and on the middle. What color is the pink? So it is uh, First Crush by Sweet Pickens. If you did not want to use milk pink, you could also use Petticoat Pink by DIY. That's actually what I asked Seb to get, but he forgot. I did forget it. If you just tuned in, you didn't hear that portion of the beginning. That's okay because <laughs> I have a whole gallon of this First Crush, so we're going to make it do, and it works just fine. It's a really good light, soft pink. We probably won't get to distressing this for a few hours. I like to let the decoupage paper really, really dry before I do that. But you can bring it over the edge here. I'm just dabbing. I feel like that. Well, there we go. <laughs> Kai says that summer experience track. Remember when the TV show where the, a family had to live like pioneers? I don't remember that, but I'm about to live it. We um, don't have to be as crazy as the people doing the trek because we're there to film and photograph so we will probably have our car with us that happens to have a so we get to walk double we get to drive to the <laughs> campsite ahead and then we got to walk back and then walk with them as we, we film them jed and kate says i wish i was brave enough to use that paper well let's show you another paper maybe you will be brave enough we've got some lighter i was going to show ones. i was going to show the uh this her. one i was going to show her last her last okay because that's do, probably the most 
drastic, exciting paper out Seth of all of them. Custom designed this fall. <laughs> we lamented over this one, and then finally it just ended up being this. It's got lots of elements you can use. <laughs> and it's great overall. This is a toile you won't find anywhere else because we took it from multiple sources. I'll show it to you from the back, but I want to show it to you up close. And this is a very neutral um, piece that you could use as just like a background to a lot of things. So this is the toile. What did you call this one? Uh, shoot, now you made me forget. You put me hey. on the spot. It is the industrial twall. Industrial twall. Because Cause it's like trains, people working, like hay, hay baling, things like that. The salt wash is just weathered wood and salt wash for the base. And there's white swan underneath that. So we're getting everything layered up. Granny chic cottage floral, like all trending All right, I have right one now. side over here to get a pink coat on. Do you want me to heat gun this a little bit so it can dry? Hopefully it doesn't chip too much. So are we not distressing this at all? Oh, well, we are going to distress it, but not the paper. I mean, are maybe you just gonna if it gets dry enough, but... Yeah, the paper's... It's still cool to the touch. It's still tacky. And then just like the weathered wood is actually very close to the color of the background of this paper. So if you are trying to match it up, I would suggest weathered wood next to it. Um, it looks a little lighter right now, but once it gets sealed, that weather wood is almost going to be the same color as the background of that floral. Diana just ordered three of the papers. Very excited. Hilary Mom, we are live. Saturday, we still have a thrift haul, but that will be pre-recorded. But we'll do it just like we did when we went to Debbie's. It's a one-take wonder, so you get all the dumb stuff we say still in there. And if it doesn't sell beforehand, um, we will have some projects already complete because we did them for the new IOD launch that's happening tomorrow. Did you just push me? I did push you a little. <laughs> Sorry. With just a pinky, though. It was just There's a nudge. A little pinky push. It was a pinky nudge. There's pinky promises and pinky pushes. Yeah, I think two coats is good because I want to bring back that weathered wood. And we're going to also, like, there's a little bit of a raw, rough, crusty edge here on the paper that we will sand and maybe put more pink over it. When you're trying to blend the paper on like this, it's all about layers. Oh, Caitlin will be on live, dropping links on Saturday and answering questions. So that'll be exciting. And then tomorrow, I think we're scheduling the, I haven't, don't hold me to it, but I think it's like 6 p.m. Eastern time for the IOD launch. And we will do that as a premiere so that way you guys can comment on there. And if we have internet on the plane, you might even get Zeb and I commenting. We'll see. I don't think I can do a eight hour plane ride without internet. Um, I will pay the extra to get the internet. I feel like you can't. We need more pink on the top, Zeb. More pink? Yeah. Like. All right. Okay, just go, just go. I was gonna blot it. I've been kind of blotting it. Yeah, like that. With my finger. Let me just finger paint. Doesn't Dion say to finger paint stuff? Oh, uh, we came too far over. It's all right. We can get it wet later and pull it back because there's patina on it. Why don't you get a little damp? And we're going to sand it a little. All right. Is this drying? Okay. So this is pretty dry. Let me see if we've got a washcloth in here. We do. So I'm using this just paper towel. It's a little dampish to just take away the line. Yeah, you want to blur the line. And when we distress it, that'll bring that back. And it's kind of mixing with the, the weathered wood and the salt wash. So it's got a good texture. And also, see, look, watch. And we'll probably wind up dark waxing it, too, so that'll bring it together. Okay, do you want to show this side? And we're going to wet distress the front. Yeah. Let me just, I had some, it was running, which, you know, drippies are good, but it was running too much. So I'm going to wet distress it. Then we'll need to let it air dry so it doesn't chip too much. And then I want to sand it smooth for a more like soft Gustavian old world type finish. So I'm just going to pull back the pink, especially on the edge. And this is going to pull forward the um, weathered wood that's on our base coat. It's where the texture comes in handy because it pulls that pink off where it's textured and leaves it underneath. 
and it will get sandpaper too. Let's see what people are saying. Oh yeah, someone that needs a some blockage. Someone, you know, oh, they're just spamming dumb websites. Looks like. Look, if you want to spam websites, get your own YouTube channel, yo. Caitlin says the launch for IOD is at one p.m. Mountain Time tomorrow. Yes, the video will premiere later because we are going to do it after the sisters. Can Rita asks? Can you put sweet pickings on top of IOD to seal it? Um, uh, the top like, coat? Yeah. like the sweet pickings top coat. Yes, you can. We sure did that today. Yep. So we'll be, tomorrow's video will show that. All right. So Joan looks like she's joined a little late. I opened the box several times. I'll open it now for you though. How does the box open? So it's just a uh, two hinges in the back and it opens up like that. And we'll sand these edges. They got a little bit of paint on them and clean those up when it's all done. We're not going to paint the inside of the box. We'll just make sure it's clean. And right now I'm just using a damp rag. Yes, Leslie, noon, noon for the Pacific coast. All right, so this just has to dry some more and then we can get to the next step. I wish we don't have to wait for paint to dry. Right. The struggle is real. All right, is it time to show another paper though? Uh, definitely time to show another Three. paper. Yeah, well, paint is dry and we'll show more paper. Okay, this is the Warwick Castle. Literally, a painting of the Warwick Castle that is now on a paper. Zeb's and it's, obsessed it's with really, castles. It's, it's really subtle. So this one I would definitely recommend doing on something light um, just because of how very... light the print is. The actual painting that I that I used for this was also very, very light and faint because it was very old. Was it a sketch or a painting? Um, this is a painting. Okay, I was gonna say it's like thing... a it's like a watercolor. The other thing you can do, you guys, is watercolor. It the... could be watercolor and ink. Looking at it, I don't yeah. I don't know. Let me pull it back so you can see it a little better. All you could once. watercolor over it, and that would be really pretty too. Like seal it up. Then watercolor. All right, it. there's the whole castle. Let's see if the camera will focus on it and show it. There we go. But it's just I I love castles, so you know we we did a paper, <laughs> and this is a good one with the people playing out in the yard out there in the common area out front of the castle. I, I just really loved it. If you guys want a sneak peek of the IOD release, go ahead and go to my stories on Facebook or Instagram. I shared the IOD reel. And you get a few sneak peeks in there and a funny laugh. Um, All right. There are some new thrift items that I finished loaded up on the website. You guys saw my pictures yesterday. So if you've been waiting for those, those are on there too. All right, we're getting there. Again, once this distresses, it'll be better, but we've really got to let this paper dry before. Otherwise, it'll rip. We don't want it to rip. So we're almost well, there. Well, it rips and smears, and it's like it gets rolly when yeah. it's, if it's wet when you distress it. It's almost dry, though. It's getting close. We'll have to show good pictures of it all done. Yes, we always do. If you don't check out community every now and then or... I feel um, like we're too square on the corners. Yeah. And we get kind of an ovaly shape. There we go. Did you show them? Did you wet distress any of this yet? I wet, I wet distress the front. Is which where's the front? Oh, okay. You're, you're looking at the front. Once it dries, we can sand it too. Is it dry? The wet distress. No. <laughs> Not dry yet. I can dry it if you want. Yeah, why don't you dry the front? So we have one more paper to show. We'll show that in just a minute. We'll be on here for, oh, about 10 more minutes, finish doing finishing touches on this. Here, we need to dry the front, though. Yeah. There you go. Did you put a second coat on this? Uh, yep. And once that's dry, we can wipe the stress it, but that rag's a little... This rag needs to be rinsed? Yeah.
How big is this image? So it's half of a 20 by 30 decoupage paper. So 15 by 20. Yeah, 15 inches by 20 inches. Because those are exactly half, right? Those two I think florals. So. Well, we can, I can tell you right now, we'll where's the other half of this? Just for you. Um, do we have the sandpaper anywhere? Where it's pretty going? close to half. Oh, there it is. So this is the other half of this paper. Yeah, it's it's half. They're yes. half and half. So 15 by 20 if you cut it in half. So if you're just joining, this is the other half of this paper. So one of the halves, we did the dark floral on the top of this box. And then the other half is is this for uh, prints. Oh, yeah, My this, hands are wet. This so. is what happens when it's not all the way dries up. Could you get some patina under there? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I don't think it had enough patina on there to begin with. So I'm just distressing this lightly with 220 um, to bring back some of that base coat. And it's going to grunge up the pink a little bit. I'm going to work down here, not up here, because clearly that's not dry enough yet. When I'm distressing, I like to do like the edges first and then the middle. And then this, I'm going to keep getting a little bit more. When you sand the salt wash, you get a little bit of texture, but it's still pretty smooth. And then I will clear wax it and do white in the middle and dark around the edge. Yeah, just that little edge right there. Oh, you popped it up real good. <laughs> I don't do anything halfway, though. You know me. Little little decoupage repair right there. Where's my... I'll use this brush. And if it does come up and doesn't stay down, we'll just work with it and distress it and maybe do some dark and decrepit there so it doesn't look so glaring. Okay, that's back on there nice and tight. Yeah, 3 p.m. Mountain time, 2 p.m. Wait. Okay, is it Pacific time two hours behind us? No, one. You got to... I thought Central was one hour behind us. One hour ahead of us. Yeah, ahead of us. Oh, Pacific is forward. Caitlin, just listen to Caitlin. Yeah, she's I was right. about to tell you, don't do time math on camera. <laughs> listen to Caitlin, she's awesome. All right, I'm just clear waxing this. We'll, we'll flip it around for you time, to see it. Time zone math is hard. Any math on the live TV show is hard. Well, probably what will happen is we'll send out an email and a text when they're live with a link to the premiere for us, our premiere will come out after they're actually live on our website. Tell you what, tomorrow afternoon, just be watching for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can flip that around. So I've clear waxed this side and I'm gonna bring in some black wax to okay. grunge it up a little bit. I'll bring it down so they can see it good. And then we might even add a little bit of gold, but that's probably gonna happen later, at a later date. Should I do dark Zeb or black? Um, I like dark actually with the brown. We've got a brown theme going here. All right. So the dark is more of a brown wax and the black is a, more of a true black color when you're doing the colored waxes. Always clear wax first because then it gives you more control. With the dark, I like to do a halo, right? And then I'm going to come back and pull it so it's not like a straight line. Then I'm going to bring my clear wax. Can you pass me that brush? Yeah, do you need me to load it up a little? Um, yeah, actually, it's fine. It's got enough on there. I loaded it up anyway. I'm going to use my clear wax. And what that'll do is just really blur out that line and bring the dark wax across. So I started with a clear wax. I haloed the dark wax. And then I brought the clear wax back. If you do not clear wax at first and it gets really grungy and you can't control it, you didn't, you didn't clear wax it. You can always try if you forget to clear wax first to throw on some clear wax afterwards, but it's kind of hard to do that. that. Yeah, so, if you guys can see out the window back there, it's snowing. They're talking about snow. <laughs> oh, they're talking about snow. I'm also going to bring in some white wax in the middle. Snowing right now. Well, you can't see it. It's too bright out the window. 
So picture this with a pretty knob on the front of it. I don't know what yet, because I want to pull that you can pull it up and down. I don't know if I'm going to add feet to this. I actually kind of think it's pretty the way that it is. I think if you add feet, it'd make it too tall. And it's not really big enough to be a coffee table or anything. Yeah, like no. just a decorative box that can sit somewhere on a shelf or in the corner of a room or next to a couch to hold blankets, whatever. So, like you could have blankets spilling out of this with the lid open a little bit. That would be cool. The white, I'm not going to go where the dark was because I want that to shine. And basically what this does is it provides like a halo effect and shades the pink and gives it an oxidized look. Just helps with the age. So we've got dark around the edge, white in the middle, clear all over. And that is a sealer too. So once that dries, it's done. In about 24 hours, we'll buff it. Um, to give you guys an idea on price, this will probably be somewhere in the $100 range once we're all finished. Um, if it was just like a basic paint job, then maybe somewhere around 60 to 70 but when we're adding all these layers and products and stuff, the price goes up accordingly. I like to let you guys know because I know a lot of you guys are refinishers. So hopefully that's helpful to you. All okay, right, let so me show have, you the, I think we can almost show yeah. that other paper now. I'm just going to give them a quick look at again, the Again, this will look again. better. Like all these wrinkles will kind of go away once when we, we distress, distress it. it. And I might even take a hot iron to really push them down. And then we'll distress the top. And then we will wax it so that way it matches. So this image on the front, because see how that's lighter in the middle and darker on the edge? That's going to be a continuing theme on all the sides and the top. All right. I'm going to show you the last paper here. This one oh, is... There's the floor. Oh, hey. It's mostly <laughs> clean. Redrick's been doing a good job. Caitlin, put the link in there if you want to sign up for text messages. Um, and also to make it easier to order, if you go to your app store, both on Android and on um, Apple, we have a Jamie Ray Vintage app, and you can order straight through there. You don't even have to use the website. All right, I'm going to bring this up slow, and you guys tell me if you know who this is before I tell you the name of this paper. It's going to look super bright because it's a, it's a pencil drawing. This is homage to our last European trip. She's Haven't had any comments yet. Who do you guys, who is she's this? She's got a really fun dress. Marie Antoinette, expert on myself. Nailed she got it. it. First answer there. Yep, Marie Antoinette. We loved seeing her um, castle and she had a little village. And my favorite thing was that all of her furniture was painted. People telling me that painted furniture painted is bright. Trend. And I'm like, listen, Marie Antoinette did it in the 1800s. So I'm just replicating what has been done for hundreds of years. There we got the camera to give you kind of truer color there. But yeah, her furniture and where she lived was so bright. It's like bright reds, bright yellows, pinks, blues. Veronica says, I appreciate your example of friendship to Debbie when she was overwhelmed. You know what? We It was also good for us because we needed... We've had a lot going on. And so it's just sometimes when you're overwhelmed, if you can give service to somebody else, it's actually really healing for yourself. And we were just feeling a little bit um, overwhelmed by all the things that we have going on. So it was such a great opportunity for us to go visit her. To give that. you an idea, maybe we should have done this paper. This paper completely covers the top and the side of this box. Oh, that would have been cool. Like this is how big this is. Maybe if it doesn't turn out with the flowers, we can redo it with this. <laughs> So to give you an idea of, of scale, it's 30 inches tall by 20 inches wide. Have I done a paint and lay on a dark color? Um, we did, if you watched it, we used Farm Fresh, which is a pretty deep dark color um, so darker with green. the chintz inlay. So that's the darkest I've done, but I've seen it on black and it's really pretty too. All right, guys, we're going to get this finished up. We are going to finish filming our IOD release for tomorrow and our thrift haul. And we will, um, next time we go live, probably will be from, from over the pond. Yeah. I we, don't know when or what, so stay tuned. Yep. Like all the videos and, uh, and comment on them a lot so that you get notifications. Because yeah, really, yeah. If that's, that's why you're not getting notifications. If you don't like and comment and share the videos, you're not going to know when we're going live. <laughs> if you click uh, the notifications bell on YouTube or the follow all post on um, Facebook, that will also help you with notifications. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it out, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. 
Thanks, guys. Oh, I real quickly though, I told them that <laughs> we're I was gone, show, but we're not. We oh. did this for channel members and Facebook subscribers. That's our special group. That's like five or six dollars a month, depending on where you live. We showed them how to make wax paper and how to color in these printables. So if you are a channel member or subscriber, check out the group or community because you can get these printables and then watch the video and we'll show you how to wax them and age them. So don't miss out on that. Okay, now we're really done. All right, but I don't now we that. can go. All right, guys, we will see you. You probably won't miss us as much as you think you will because there will be videos that are scheduled coming out. All right, bye guys. Love you. Have a great Wednesday. Oops.